Hey, I'm Paul Stachniak from Butterscotch.com and welcome back to How to Why, our continuing series on the Nintendo Wii. And in this episode, the Wiimote, how to connect it for the first time and how to sync it to, say, a friend's console. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with your brand new Wiimote is put the batteries in. So on the back of the Wiimote, you're going to find a uh, plastic flap, take it off, you're going to find a space for two AA batteries. Now we just happen to have two with us, so we're going to just put those in. To connect the Wii, what you're going to want to do is look at the front of your Wii console. You're going to see a flap here. When you open it, there's two slots. One is an SD card slot. At the top, you're going to see a sync button. It very clearly says sync. If you hold it down, what it's going to do is uh, prompt a signal and look for any Wiimotes in the area. So in this case, you hit this little red button at the bottom of the Wiimote here. It starts flashing blue lights. And when it connects, you're going to see that the first, button comes up, the first light comes up there. That means we're now part of the first channel. So this Wii mode is now synced up with that Wii. We can put the back flap on and we're good to go. Now to resync controllers that might have been deactivated, what you want to do is hit the home button on the controller that's going to bring up the Wii home menu. And you want to go down here to where it says Wii remote settings. That's going to bring up another menu which is going to allow you to reconnect all your controllers. So what this does is basically now disconnects all the controllers that are paired to the Wii and it's going to ask you to hit one and two on your remote to repair them. So when that process is done, you'll hear a chime and as you can see on the screen there, P1 is now connected and you're good to go. You can also tell which channel you're on by the light as indicated here at the bottom. So there's one, two, three, and four. So depending on the channel you're on, you're going to see the light on that particular Wiimote light up. All right, so that's setting up your Wiimote for the first time. In the next episode, we're going to show you how to get acquainted with your dashboard. Until then, check out our show notes at butterscotch.com. We'll see you again soon.